Can't believe when he gets in a rally in Roddick Sir. 30-15. He's had one break point chance the entire match. He's hit today, that's for sure. Very well done. Lou's actually had a good game. He's gotten some serves Little back. Team, He's gotten in the points. Two doubles this game. So that's eight for the match for Roddick. So we've seen Nadal coasting. And if Nadal's able to finish on Wednesday, he would play Robin Soderly again. Soderling, he had nothing good. He couldn't shake Federer last year. Now he can't shake Rafa. A lot of guys like Andy Roddick. Five games Joe all. Kovic, final set. People that are in this generation all have that experience. Yeah, just think of what uh, Soderling did the last two years at the French. The guy beats Nadal, which I think most people would realize is uh, unbelievably difficult. And then he loses to Federer. This year he beats Federer, defending champion. He's got to play Nadal again in the finals. Maybe it's better he catches him earlier. Like he did at the French there. It was like the fourth round. This one's a quarter, so. A little bit of uncertainty surrounding Nadal, though he's looking pretty sharp today. That's a good matchup, though. He's got with Matthew, that's for sure. Not a huge hitter. <laughs> he deserved a scream on that one. He had to summon a little bit of energy to make this final charge. It's a footwork is what did it, isn't it? Yes. People always talk about racket technique there. He just hustled. Took those extra steps. Tiny steps, which you need to take on grass so you don't skid. But think about that footwork after four hours and 16 minutes. The winner doesn't have to play tomorrow. That's good news no matter who Steady comes on. through here. It's all women's quarterfinals on the second Tuesday at Wimbledon. Love. And we'll play on in the fifth. Lou leads six. 
Well, you're going to see an awful lot of people trying to find their way to court, too. <laughs> of course, a separate ticket today. And as play ends on the grounds and other places, they still hear that noise coming. You see there's hardly an empty seat. Ticket the court two today on Venus play. That turned out to be pretty close. 15 love. Crazy start to it because she was gotten uh, given a hard time by a couple fans because she arrived late. No fault of her own. Now this is uh, surprisingly close. There was also a surprise in Caroline Wozniacki. Was smoked. Had to try to oh, was that too? Okay, that was a. She got it beaten badly. Two and zero. Well, Andy Roddick was the guy that bought uh, food for. Uh, John is right. Yeah, right. So he can't give up. He has no choice. He can't even think about giving up. Roddick went and on his own, bought a bunch of takeout food here at Wimbledon Village and delivered it to Isner where Isner was staying. I think he brought it back to the locker room. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah. Six so he, he's going to have to. New balls, please. It's not even a choice. To, Continue to try to hang in there. Well, if, if Luke can, can hold serve. If, if we've learned anything in, in the first week again at Wimbledon, your truism never proved more true. The last thing to go is the serve. Stand there and put some pretty good pop on it, like Mahout Isder did, and uh, Rada clearly with an edge there. The one thing Lou's got going for him is he's serving first. And I was going to say, now that's the one we could put in some dispute. It eventually did come into play. It took 138 games. <laughs> 15 love. By the way, the match with Nadal might end even faster than we thought because Mathieu is being treated to what looks like a lower back injury. He's in an injury timeout. Can you tell him the score is 6 4 5 2? I mean, I think Mathieu got treatment at his 50s. He's back up. He's going to get yeah. back out and give it a go. He's down two breaks in the. Second, well, so that appears to be gone. See if he can get the back going for the third set. Well, Lou's doing a nice job of, and Roddick is in this set as well, but for serves. Lou's at 68% in this decisive set. Nadal's had a couple of five setters. He wouldn't mind a quick match tonight because his knee was a little bulky in the last round. Well, you see him do 40, what he 15. did with that second serve, and you wonder why he doesn't every time. Right. It's been better in this fifth set. <laughs> Lou's doing well to minimize those second serves. Well, yeah, his percentage, as you pointed out, is very high, so he's not getting a whole lot of chances. I think he's just standing closer in the first serve, too. Just use the pace of the loose and just block it back. So they'll give it in the angle. Again, Lou. 7 6. No tie break in the fifth. Lou leads 7 again.